Here's the rewritten text in English. Russia's fifth-generation fighter jet, the Su-57, has often been criticized for failing to meet expectations. During the ongoing war in Ukraine, the so-called felon has largely stayed on the sidelines. Now, Russian officials are discussing the development of a sixth-generation fighter jet, but this appears to be more of a fantasy aimed at stirring national pride in Russia's weapon systems. As a veteran of the U.S., Army and Air Force who worked on surveillance radar for the E-3 Sentry Awaks, I've gained insights into Russian military propaganda, partly thanks to my fluency in Russian. Let's discuss Russia's alleged sixth-generation fighter jet, especially since their fifth-generation Su-57 is essentially a fourth-generation aircraft disguised as something more advanced. Earlier this year, Yanni Fedosov, the scientific director of the State Research Institute of Aviation Systems, wrote in a column for TASS, the state-owned news agency, that they are thinking about the concept of a sixth-generation aircraft conducting research. And exchanging views with military specialists, he also began gathering funding for the endeavor. This statement was echoed by regime-controlled Russian media, sparking nationalistic fervor over Russia's unstoppable superweapons. However, Russia has struggled to deploy its fourth-generation fighters in Ukraine, let alone achieve air superiority. Last year, Russian propaganda outlet Sputnik claimed that the Su-57 outperforms the U.S.-made F-35. That claim is blatantly false. The first major red flag for the Su-57 came in 2018 when India withdrew from a joint development project. Among their concerns, India cited Russia's inability to produce a fifth-generation engine for the jet. To be classified as a true fifth-generation fighter, an aircraft must be capable of supercruise without engaging afterburners. Instead, the Su-57 uses engines from Russia's fourth-generation fighters, such as the Su-34 and Su-35, Another issue is the Su-57's lack of stealth capabilities. Due to limited funding or expertise, Russia failed to design a jet that could effectively mask its thermal signature, making it easy to detect. While Russia claims the Su-57's radar cross-section RCS is between 0.1 and 1 square meters, it is far inferior to the F-22 Raptor or F-35 Lightning I, I. which have an RCS of nearly minus 40 dBSM, making them thousands of times harder to detect. Russia's inability to perfect fifth-generation technology casts significant doubt on their capability to develop a sixth-generation fighter. While Fedosov has set a target of 2050 for this advanced jet, this seems overly optimistic given the deep-rooted issues within Russia's military, such as corruption, poor command structures. and mismanagement of research and development funds. In conclusion, Russia's claims of developing a sixth-generation fighter appear to be more propaganda than a feasible plan.
Meanwhile, the world must remain alert to such narratives while focusing on the realities on the ground. Slava Ukraini.